Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick update on my 1981 Inside Pitch New York Mets replay. Um, I saw this about a couple months ago. And right now, um, so I have this thing that I, I made in, on uh, numbers on my MacBook. Uh, basically, like I took the schedule of the 81 season, and then, I'll, you know, uh, over here I'll put my results. Um, so, be, so, like, the 81 season, um, it was a strike year, so um, June, July, uh, the baseball season was, was put on hold. So basically, it's just 105 games uh, that season. So I thought, you know, doing a replay, 105 games, shouldn't be that bad. Uh, so I did pretty good the first half. You know, the Mets in 81, were, were they were really bad. It wasn't until, like, 84 was when the Mets started to turn things around with, like, Ron Darling, you know, uh, Doc Gooden, Keith Hernandez, um, a bunch of other players. Uh, but, like, in 81, they were, they were just they were really a bad team. And I was actually surprised the first half I was, I was doing pretty good. I was had 27 wins and 25 losses. Uh, so I thought, you know, hey, maybe, you know, I was third place. Uh, and then the second half came and I'm basically almost 30 games in and I have like 10 wins and 19 losses. Uh, so I'm not doing good at all. Uh, so a little bit about the game. Um, if you're interested, uh, inside pitch. Uh, it's kind of similar to similar to like payoff pitch where it starts with you start with like the, the pitcher's card and you go to the batter's card. Um, now, if you're looking to purchase this, I, I checked their website over the weekend. I know like you know Black Friday and, and Cyber Monday is pretty much over, but they didn't really have any sales going on. So if you purchase like a newer season like 2019, uh, they have like three sets of cards. I mean, these are the color ones, um, but they have like black and white. Black and white will cost you $61. Color is like $74. And if you get the PDF, it's really cheap. It's like 18 bucks. That's the newer seasons. If you want something older, like in like the you know like 80s, like what I did, uh, the uh, black and whites are $51. The color is $61, and the PDFs are $16. Um, so when I purchased the game a couple months ago, I, I purchased everything. It costs about mm, about seventy five dollars. Now, if you want to save money, you basically could get like the game rules for free. You can you can go to their website and actually print this out on your own, and you can also get this chart too. The chart that you're gonna need for the game. This this chart you can actually print that print that out for free. So um, the only thing you really need um, is, is pretty much the, you know of course the, the season cards. And again, if you get PDFs, I mean, newer seasons are eighteen dollars, and the uh, the older seasons are like sixteen. Um, and if you have like a good printer, I know um, for me it's like I mean, I don't want to waste too much ink, <laughs> but sometimes it's just easier to get you know just pay the extra money and just have them you know shipped to you. Um, and then you're just gonna need dice, and the dice that you need just need two different color you know D6s and then a d20. That's all you really need for the game. And you could get an extra. So there's some, sometimes you, you have to, sometimes you have like an extra in there because they, um, certain plays, you have to have a, a, another roll. Um, uh, negative, negative things about the game. Um, surprisingly, the game didn't come with any score sheets. And I checked their website. They don't, they don't have any score sheets. Uh, they did. They do have this that comes in the game. I guess they, they, they expect you to keep score on this. Um, I don't. If you're doing replays, I don't think you can possibly. You know, you can't keep like stats on this thing. Um, so what I've been using, I've been using the uh, the replay baseball score sheets, and I kind of like it. Um, you know, I actually have a lineup all already set for one of my games um, that's coming up. This is game 82, and. Um, so I'll go to like baseballreference.com and I'll go to that game and just write down the, the lineup. Um, but I do like um, baseball uh, replay baseball's um, score sheets because on the bottom here, uh, you can see right here they have like you know spots to put like the fielders' ratings. And this is a game where you really need to know each player's ratings, especially their range checks and their error checks, because throughout the game that's going to come up. Um, Compared to like other, there's a lot of like error checks. Um, so I do like also like at the end you can um, sum up everybody's at bat and runs and keep track uh, of of how they did during that game. Um, 
Here's like an example with this, what the uh, cards look like. Um, so let me uh, give you like an example of the pitcher's card. Oops. This is Pat Zachary. Uh, so basically, you see here um, the ratings. Like basically, like all of like the results are read through the card. So it's not like you're checking like I know like replay baseball. I don't have that game, but I, I watched a lot of videos. And basically, you have to have each result. You have to look on a chart. So if you don't like looking at charts that much, I highly recommend this game because a lot. Of, sometimes it goes quicker when you when you have like a good pitcher in and he's doing like strikeouts. Um, the interesting thing about about this game is not nothing's ever like kind of like guaranteed. For example, if you roll like you know if you look at Pat Zachary and you roll like a one two and you see that that that's a K. Is it that doesn't mean automatically the the batter strikes out. Now, if you go back to the example with Mookie Wilson, uh, you see he has a rating with K. So there's a 14. So 1 through 14 would be a K. Um, so, you know, and you look at the left, depending on if it's a left-handed or right-handed pitcher, but everything's going to be like 1 through 14 for him. Now, also, uh, the stadium can also add to that number. When you look at Shea Stadium, K plus 3. So that's going to add uh, 3 to that. So now it's going to be 1 to 17. So then you have to roll uh, the, the D20. So if you get 1 to 17, he strikes out. But if you get like 18, 19, or 20, then you have to do another roll, and you roll on, on the batter's card. So again, it's, it could be mul one bat can be multiple rolls, and that kind of slows the game down. Uh, also, there's like I mentioned, there's also a lot of range checks. If you look at Mookie Wilson's card for his position, center field, uh, there's a 5, and in parentheses, there's a 3. And plus two. Plus two is the, his arm rating, uh, but but plus but the five um, represents his his uh, range play, and the parentheses is his error. So the, there's certain times when, like for example, if you look at Pat Zachary's card again, let's say you, if you look at the column one one there, this RP that's range play. So if you hit that, uh, you go to here and you roll his the result on here, and then you for example, if it's like a an S4, which is like a single to uh, second base, um, you have to check the second base's range play. And it's like, for example, if the range play is like one through three and you roll like a two, that means he makes the play. So what the thing is, is for example, like a, a hit can um, be um, can be changed to a, um, an out or an out can be changed into a hit. Uh, so that's something to consider. Um, so that's like the unpredictability of, of, of the game. Like if you play like Stratomatic, a K is going to be a K. There's no other check on that. Uh, another thing that I find kind of confusing and something I, I, I can't is, is, the, is the runner advancement charts here. So I always have this this open on my on my desk when I'm playing because um, it's kind of hard to remember because you have to you have to consider like the base runner uh, his rating. Because each, you know, of course, every batter is going to have a different rating. Plus, there's, uh, you know, if there's, if there's like a, like if there's like a, um, matter if there's like two outs, you add like one to the rating. Um, so it's all, it's all like all over here. Um, the the rule book is not that, you know, it, it explains everything really. I mean, it's, it's, it, it's a good rule book. And what I do is like when I first started, I, I watched a lot of videos on YouTube uh, on how to play the game. Um, but back to my um, my replay, a little update. So again, in the first half I was doing really good. The second half, not so good. Um, so I'm about, and for some reason, like I'm really bad at playing at home. I have 12 wins and 27 losses, and away I'm 25 and 17. Um, usually it's the other way around, but you know this is just rolling a dice. So um, I'm doing really bad at home, uh, but. Definitely, I mean, for replay, like the thing is, like if you're doing a replay, do you want something that's kind of accurate to like how the real season played out? I think the game is accurate because it would be something if like, you know, I know in the 81, the Mets were really bad. So if I'm really good, like if I'm playing this game and, and I'm like, you know, have like it's like really good record, then something's kind of like, uh, then I guess this game is not close to the real life. But now, like seeing that how I'm kind of like like doing really bad, I'm like in the Mets were bad in '81. It's kind of like oh, this game is kind of like accurate. Um, I've been playing like uh, before this. I started playing a replay of the '87 season with um, 
uh, history maker baseball. And I just felt like the, 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 uh, the stats were just a little bit high, uh, compared to real life. I think Keith Hernandez had like, like 18 home runs or something like that. And I'm like, hmm, it's kind of not, not, uh, not really like how the real Mets were, but, um, but I highly recommend this game. Um, if you're looking for a new game, you know, again, I, I did check the cards are not going to be on sale, but if you buy the PDFs, it can, you know, depending on what season, $16, you know, newer season or $18, they pretty much have every season. This is what, what I um, went to the, to, to check them out and originally is because I was looking for something like, I originally wanted to play 86, but I was like, Hey, maybe, maybe get like a challenge, maybe play a, a, a season where I don't know much of the players. So throughout, you know, playing, I can learn more about that season. Um, so I picked 81, um, but they have every season, older seasons. Um, I don't think they have, uh, I don't think they have, there's a couple of seasons they don't, they don't have, I don't think they have 91. Uh, but yeah, and I don't think they have 2000. They don't have 2000 for some reason. If memory serves me correct. I don't think they have the 2000 season. Um, but definitely, definitely worth checking out. Uh, again, more, another negative thing about the, about the game is they don't have an instant results chart. Uh, so for example, if you're doing like a replay and you want to play the, you know, you don't want to play every team in the league. So sometimes you just roll a dice to get the instant results. Like I know play.com has it, you know, history maker baseball, uh, payoff pitch might have it too. Uh, but yeah, they don't have it here. So basically when I, when I do like my replay, um, I go to baseballreference.com and I go with the game and I'll check off like what, um, each, each team, you know, if they won or lost and keep my own, um, standings. Um, but you know, that's, that's like a negative thing about the game. If you, especially if you're doing a replay, um, what I recommend, I think replay baseball has fast score baseball. And I was, I was something that I was looking in, looking into. I didn't purchase it, but uh, it's something that you can, you know, do like fast, fast results and have that going on while you're doing your, your replay. But um, yeah, that that's pretty much it. Um, and thanks for watching.